So we're going to start off with the simplest circuit. This involves a battery and a battery holder and a bulb and a bulb holder. And we're just going to connect the circuit. And here, here's what happens when I unscrew the bulb and when I screw the bulb back in. So that's our simplest circuit. This is basically the very same circuit. Again, the battery and the battery holder, the bulb and the bulb holder, but this time I've added a knife switch. So we can see what happens when I make the contact there and when I remove it. So I'm going to activate the switch and then I'm going to unscrew the bulb and screw the bulb back in and undo the knife switch. You'll also notice I have different wires. You might be using wires like these. You might be using the alligator clip wires. So that's also the simplest circuit, but this one has a switch in it. Okay, so here's our next circuit. And this time we have two batteries in the battery holders and we have two bulbs in the bulb holders. And you can see that everything is connected this is a series circuit with two batteries and two bulbs. This is what happens when I unscrew the first bulb. And this is what happens when I unscrew the other bulb. I'm going to put those a little bit closer so that you can see. So when I unscrew the second bulb and when I unscrew the first bulb. Okay, here's our next circuit. And we have two batteries again. We have two bulbs again, but these bulbs have been hooked up differently. So you can see that the batteries are going to this bulb and the batteries are going to this bulb. So this is called a parallel circuit. And let's see what happens when we unscrew one of the bulbs. I'm going to bring these close so that you can see what's happening with both of them. There's one out and there's the other one out. So this is different from what happened before when we unscrewed one of the bulbs. There's one out. And there's the other one out. Okay, so I've made a bigger circuit this time. Now I have one, two, three batteries and one, two, three, four bulbs in the bulb holders. And once again, we're using a knife switch so we can see what happens when we connect and when we disconnect. Okay, so let's see what happens then when I unscrew the first bulb. Hmm. I'm going to bring these a little bit closer together so that you can see them a little bit more easily. So I unscrew the first one and I tighten it again. What happens when I unscrew the second one? And I tighten that one again. I'm going to unscrew the third one and tighten that one. And finally, I'm going to unscrew the fourth one and retighten that one. So, big series circuit. But we can get a little bit more complicated. So, we're going to add another wire, and we're going to call this a jumper wire because it will allow the electricity to jump from one place to another. So, I can jump from here to here. Ooh, what just happened to the bulbs? Hmm, let's try that on a different bulb. So I'm going to jump from here to here. You see what happened to all those bulbs? So this one doesn't look like it's lit, but the other three are. That's different. How about if I jump across two of the bulbs? Okay. So this time I have jumped across two of the bulbs. You can see that the other two are still lit. In fact, they look a little bit brighter. The challenge is, how would you draw that? So if you were to just use this jumper, you are bypassing this bulb. And if you were to use this jumper like this, you're bypassing two bulbs. So think about how you would draw that. So we've looked at this big series circuit and we looked at what happened when we jumped over one or two of the bulbs and that was kind of interesting. But now we're going to get into a combination circuit where part of it is going to be in series and part of it is going to be in parallel. So I want you to watch these light bulbs very closely when I connect from this side 
to the other side of the battery. Can you tell that there's a difference? So this bulb, what did you notice with this particular bulb? Hmm. So that's what happens when I jump over and I'm putting part of this in parallel and part of this in series.